welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swain Nasus. Going to be our first deck today. We're going to be playing a Swain deck, and y'all know about Swain decks. You want to be doing lots of non combat damage because you need to be able to do 12 to be able to level up your Swain. And so we're going to be, um, you know, having a lot of different cards that deal non combat damage. Some of the normal ones with Noxus, like Ravenous Fog, Death's Hand. But then we're heading on over to Shurima, because Shurima has a couple interesting options. We got Weight of Judgment, that if we cast Weight of Judgment against a follower, we're doing 7 damage. That, you know, over halfway levels up Swain by itself. And then we also have Spirit Fire that um, deals 2 damage to each enemy follower, or just, just each enemy. And so if they have 4, uh, you know, 4 units in play, then whenever we play this, that's dealing 8 damage. Um, if they have a, a full board and have six units in play, this would level up Swain by itself. So yeah, so that so there we go. So we're going to be using um, Shurima for those kind of cards. Shurima also gives us a very good protection spell with Ride of Negation, and it gives us our other champion with Nasus. Because we're playing like this um, Noxus control deck, right? Like with your Swain decks, usually some control decks, we're going to be slaying units. We're going to be killing their units. Maybe some of our units get slayed. Um, but... Each one of those will help level up Nasus. Now, the other thing Noxus can do is Noxus can help give Overwhelm. And Overwhelm is really important when you have your leveled up Swain, right? Because you want your leveled up Swain to strike the enemy Nexus. Because you get a huge bonus for striking the enemy Nexus with your leveled up Swain. Now, Nasus can also just be very large. Like sometimes you can have, you know, a 10 10 Nasus or so. We see Nasus Atrocity be a wonderful follower. A wonderful finisher <laughs> there we go one of the better finishers in the format um and so we have a card like kato the arm that can support either of our champions give them plus three plus th zero and overwhelm and that's a great way to finish out games also gonna be playing two mites as well another way to give plus three plus zero and overwhelm at burst speed so we'll be using those hopefully to have swain and nasus finish out games but then besides that, of course, we're going to be playing Leviathan along with Swain so that we can have the Leviathan-Swain combo as well. All right, so let's go ahead and play our five games in Ranked. It's Swain Nasus. This is our first of four new donation decks on the day. We play in a D Darius Elise up next, and then Victor Vi and Zoe all together, and then finally Nightfall Aggro with Nocturne and Diana. All right, we got... Lucian is here to start off with. I think we're going to mulligan the Kato and the Nasus. Keep the other two. This would be a good Spirit Fire matchup. For sure. They they play like larger followers. See what we see. So like they have like the 5 drop follower, 6 drop follower. You know, Cythria and command. Inspiring Marshall. Both of those would be very good to have this Weight of Judgment for. So I want to keep that card. Mervin! Dude, Mervin, you are the best. Thank you, Mervin. That is a huge, huge donation there. You are so nice, Mervin. Thank you. Um, let's pass. I pro maybe should I probably should have just played the Doom Keeper before. You need not follow, but you will witness. Yeah. I should have just played this Doom Keeper. Cause Azir doesn't die to the sentry flock combo, so I feel like that's a waste. Every every going with the sentry flock combo then. The desert by my side. So even if they have um, the plus three plus one card, that won't save. So I wanted to block the have the two one block Azir, so it won't save Azir. I 
think it's just kind of likely they're going to play Inspiring Marshall. Oh, but I guess not. And so I wanted to have the Weight of Judgment for that Inspiring Marshall. If I play Swain, I don't get, like, either spell. So weird. <laughs> so this is this new thing. So just to show this aura that it can block elusives from sharp side, they gave sharp side its own weird looking thing. Okay, another Valor. I've got your back. This is me taking four, going down to fourteen. Through conquest. Indecision is the first of many. You dare oppose Noxus. I'm right, down to nine. Okay, perfect. Now we have Kato uh, being able to give the Swain Overwhelm. This would be them going to one. So not lethal yet. That's like maybe like one of the very best way to judgment targets like in the entire game. <laughs> so three of the bold. Alright, so they go to two. I will break them. So that just save them one life. Which obviously I'll take that. Alright, good spirit fire. Do not see what is, see what will be. Remember this day it is fine. The order is given. Spears ready. Don't want Kato. I apologize to your parents. Case scenario. But we're still fine. We still don't die. And now they die. I don't think they have anything that just stops an open attack from a Swain. Especially now they have right negation. And there we go. All right, got our first one. Swain, Swain at Nasus. We have done what is needed. Lissandra Trundle. A 
Lissandra Tr Trundle is going to be just difficult to defeat. I guess I keep these two. I guess. They're both cards that feel like they could be really important. Whenever we play the seasonal tournament in a few days, or in nine days, I assume I qualify for it, which I, I should. But whenever I play that, I am I'm banning Lissandra Trundle every single time. That's that's the deck that I just never want to face. Yeah, it's like the new the new Anivia deck. It's just because I'm gonna be playing I'm gonna be playing like a bunch of mid range decks that are you know I'm gonna be tuning them to be like mid range decks that are good against aggro, but you know like they won't like I won't be able to just stop turn eight watcher stuff also like it's it's hard to be able to do everything and so you get to ban one thing and so this is definitely gonna be the deck that I'll be banning each time. Loyalty through conquest. Yeah, so. J Jack's the person that made this deck. Jack said this is this deck's worst matchup, and I, I can completely agree. Like, I... Yeah. This is the, the dream for Watcher decks, or just other slow, mid-rangey control decks that don't have a fast way to win the game. Such little lies. So I'm not expecting too much with this matchup. These are so I could spend seven mana and have Way of Judgment plus Guillotine together kill this Trundle. I guess so. I think that's a better idea than just playing a 3-3 Nasus. Witness strength. Well, that's good. Who day? In the tier one sub, 52 months. Thank you so much, Huday. Second sub of the day. Hope you're having just a wonderful Thursday. All right, so it's turn eight. This is gonna be the crazy turn. This is where they get to start playing a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe they just don't have a Lissandra. It's hard to just to play Leviathan because if they go Spectral, you know, Spectral Matron, Challenge Swain. Up there in the mountains. Prepare the cargo. There is no excess when victory is at stake. More than mortals, I am Iceborn. And this, of course, is even a problem just because, like, the whole tough nexus thing means the Leviathan doesn't do damage to them. So that's a problem as well. So they got this. We know they have Spectral Matron and Hand Watcher. I have nothing killing that. Andre, we're, we're moving on. It is nonsense. There's not much to do about it. Okay, we'll keep the Doom Keeper. We're back to our first matchup. Which went really well for us, but our opponent didn't have the, the best of hands. Alright, so we have the attack token turn one. See what we see. Good time for a Doom Keeper. 
Yeah, Watcher is not not a fun card to play against. Nope, it is not. But Sand and blood. Um, it's difficult to make everything fun to play against. But cards that just ignore what happened, the you know for like the whole game, and then you, you you're just dead, and it's incredibly difficult to stop. Not a fun experience. But oh well. The Emperor commands the land obey. Always forward. Okay, Ravenous Flock. You need not follow, but you will witness. For glory, face me. Nicely fell into our Azir trap. Alright, let's miss some folks up. Hmm. Okay, so Swain's at one. One from the Sand Soldier. Could certainly be a waste of a Ravenous Flock. Master, your could certainly be a waste. I could, that could be a play that I completely regret for sure. We are at war. Who blesses you? Should have kept that sand available. Thought about it. It's a little greedy playing the Nasus there. All so I could have gone Spirit Fire and then they couldn't block, but. Yeah, it's true. Swing it too. Well. Yeah, maybe that was a, just a fine trade. Kind of wish I would have just played the Spirit Fire last turn. I probably I should have. I was hoping I pass back to them. I was hoping they would play something else, like one other thing, and then not Spirit Fire. But that was just too greedy by me. dead. There's no reason for me to be losing this game. I've really messed this game up. I think this is better than going Spear of Fire. Because Spear of Fire is just too, it's kind of too, too difficult with multiple attacks with Valor. Multiple ways to put in Today we turn the Sand Soldiers. I just messed, I messed this game up. 
it's lethal. Turn seven. I need to play that Spirit Fire on turn seven. Oh, this is gonna be a crazy game. Yeah, it's it's easier to see that in hindsight than during the game. Uh, those, you know, just having lots of valors, having all three valors, was pretty rough. But that's that's a matchup that I did not put myself in very good position to win that. I kind of think I'm mulligan everything but Arachnoid Sentry. Maybe I keep Scorched Earth. Like some like these things are pretty big. Vi, Lee Sin, Victor. Like they can be kind of difficult to kill. But I think we need something else to turn it on as well. See what we see, soldier. Always forward. Death, Death Ray is going to be pretty good. We know they have the MK2. The MK2 is either this card or this card. So just like playing Glory Seeker and trying to have Glory Seeker challenge is into reliable. And go for the Eye of the Dragon. So maybe they tap down underneath the MK2 for this Glory Seeker. They could... Okay, they did. Brilliant design. I need just a moment. I'll cut them up. You're mine. If I only attack with just the 2-2, they just block with the tail of the dragon, right? So I don't kill Ballistic Bond. Stands for vicious. Their hand's been pretty good. I walk through the ages. Hey, Duck. Thanks for the rain. I I didn't go as planned. So I'm gonna kill the Vi right there. No, no. That didn't work out. Justice first hate this. All right. 
Alright, so that's a new MK1. Yeah, not bad. So we got two cards left. Hmm, that hurts. <laughs> I couldn't have that to stop there to deny. Or are there removal spells or anything in the last turn? Alright, well. Yep. Alright, so they just outlasted us. They just had more card draw than us. Had better interaction as well. So they had cheaper interaction with those death rays. And then card draw. Alright, Lee Sin Zoe. Guess I don't keep anything? Like, I'm not, not exactly sure how. Like, Flock? I don't know. Flock's like a card we should probably always keep. Hey, Nihilus. No, so yeah, so if you want to fit in... Okay, yeah, talking about trying to fit in card draw in here and what to take out. This is the card to take out. Might is really unnecessary. Way to judge... No, you need, like, weighted judgment and stuff. But, like, Might, might can go... You, you don't need three Doom Keepers. For example, Doom Keeper could be anywhere from... You know, you can play zero. You could play one or two. Um... But, you know, like, we already have Kato, and, like, if, if you have more card draw, you can just, you know, you have more card draw with more removal and stuff. You just don't, you don't really need might. Yeah, blocking with Zoe was a little weird there, wasn't it? Does that mean, that probably means, like, another Zoe? Maybe not. So, like, that's what I recommend is probably Doomkeeper and Might. I think those would be the cards that I'd recommend taking out for some, for some Preservarium Whisper Words. Something like that to get some more card advantage in here. Could attack with the 1-1 one, one also and have Flock Scorched Earth. But I don't want to make that decision yet. The spirit gives to those who listen. So we're going to need to find some way to deal damage to Sparklefly. Glory, courage, excuses for war. Because we don't have very many cards that actually deal damage to our opponent's units. We have Weight of Judgment and... I think it's just Weight of Judgment and Death's Hand. Is that it? Thankfully, they blocked. Could also just have Guiding Touch, though, that shuts me down pretty good. No, I mean, Might doesn't really do anything right there. Seven damage to them. But there's just there's just not that much difference between them being at 12 or being at 19 for, like, how this game plays out. That's the thing about Might, is, is it it doesn't do anything unless it, it it's lethal, but... It, Alright, so the, sta the same cards stop both Flock and Scorched Earth. You know, Nopify and Guiding Touch. But now Scorched Earth still does something. 
with Nopify there where Flock was the only card that Love the Death Sand draw. That that helps out against Guiding Touch. Oh, use Might to kill the Sparklefly. Oh, yeah, I guess that was an option. Ugh. Merely pawns in a greater game. We have Spirit Fire, that's another way to do non-combat damage, right? They didn't list earlier. Because they're almost out of cards. So this could maybe work. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. For glory, you're mine. I definitely don't want to play Dune Keeper here because of Equinox. Oh, you're interesting. Okay. Stand as a Noxian or die as Naomi. I made my choice long ago. So we know they have two spells, two cards in hand. We know one of them is the Celestial card. So this this is the non-Celestial card. This other one, this one here is the Celestial. Oh, never mind. I had those two in the wrong spot. Seven out of eight for spells. When we return malevolence. Nasus is seven seven. Cause like I can play Nasus, I can might Nasus and hit him for ten, but like if they don't block, I just like hit him for ten. And that doesn't kill them. Destination in sight! Bring these lands to their knees. I really don't like this new spell shield. I like the old spell shield better. So not bad. Yeah, these... I could see replacing the Doom Keepers, or at least, you know, maybe just playing one or two. It's great. It's really great to play a Doom Keeper on turn one, but basically after that you just never really want to play another one. I fight with the dragon's fury. <laughs> You've already lost... Yeah, cause they, you really can't tell the difference between uh, this and Sharp Sight. It is very difficult. So this puts me down to six. Am I gonna need this to break up that spell shield? Like, maybe. Yeah, the Lee Sin has a spell shield currently. Good. They've only played one spell so far. See 
what we see, so And now we're going to be attacking for lethal. You go first. No, you go first, then you. Oh, no. it, doesn't, it just doesn't matter what order those things are in. Their heartbeats quicken. Ready yourself. Can't make that block. The dragon binds us. Still can't make that block. It's negative one. Your lesson begins. Ooh. Okay. Well. Give that plus three, plus zero, and overwhelm. And then go down to one. But all our stuff's dead. Including Lee Sin. A misstep. Okay, there we go, that'll do. We grow wiser with each victory. Yeah, so there we go. So there was Swain Nasus. Um I think that so we ended up two and three. I think that my second game against Lucian Azir, I probably should have won. I think I, I made some mistakes with playing but you know it's not it's not an easy game and hindsight is always 2020 but you know learned from that game for sure um but you know it was okay basically where we the um the watcher deck is just gonna be a really really difficult matchup like that's gonna be one like that's just not gonna go well for you <laughs> you know playing this kind of deck so that's okay you're gonna have you know like sometimes you have like a, a matchup that's really bad you know, so we went two and two in the other games and could have maybe been three and one in the other games. And we saw, uh, besides the Watcher loss, we saw our other loss that we really ran out of cards. And um, the Dune Keeper might, Kato, like that kind of stuff. That Those those could be card draw. I don't think you, you wouldn't really want to take out any of like the removal cards. I definitely like the House Spiders and like the Sentry Flock combo. And uh, the Glory Seeker looked pretty good too. Wouldn't really want to take out anything like that. Um, but you, I could see playing one Spirit Fire instead of two, even though it was very good against the Lucian Azir deck, but I'm just saying like that could be if you want extra card draw. But like basically, Might is a card that is most useful whenever it's winning the game. And so like if you have card draw in your deck, maybe you just need one instead of two, right? Because you just have a, you know, playing, in, playing two and no card draw or playing one with card draw. You know, like that that could be a thing like where you just have have some card draw there instead of um, instead of two, because then like your card draw can help you find that might that you want to help finish the game. All right. So those are some things to think about. And as far as card draw goes, probably the two best cards in here would be Preservarium in uh, Sharima and then Whispered Words from Noxus. I think out of those two, I think I like Preservarium more. I think I like you get you get two cards with both of them. One of them, you get your two cards immediately, but you have to spend four spell mana on, which is better than four regular mana. The other one, you just have to spend two regular mana on, and you only get one card right away. And then you have to wait another uh, two turns, and then you get your second card. I think I would recommend Preservarium, but not exactly sure with that. Um, the curve is kind of high with the deck. It's not too bad, but it's kind of high. But I think I would go Preservarium. Okay, so there we go. So those... Uh, that's Swain Nasus for our first deck today. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Swain and Nasus together. If you got any other deck, other any other ideas for the deck, feel free to put them there in the comment section. All right, but that's all I got here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.